75% of adult mental health disorders start between the ages of 16 and 24. And that not only includes things like depression and anxiety, drug and alcohol problems, it also includes significant disorders such as bipolar disorder and schizophrenia, so psychotic disorders. One of the things that we've been working on at Sydney University in conjunction with Headspace is to set up services that target young people at this age to make sure that they have a place to come to, that they can get a really comprehensive assessment, that we can provide the individualised treatments that people require to put them back on a track to mental health and well-being. Basically all the different elements of my life that I've needed help with because of my mental health condition, there's a service to help me deal with it pretty much. So one of the things that excites me most is the capacity to contribute through research and the clinical work that we do to a wider body of evidence that will help us understand what are the processes that are associated with the development of mental health disorders in young people, to develop individual treatments and to prevent disability and the long-term social and economic and health consequences of these disorders in our community. But the most important thing is also to reduce suffering. If I can do that, then I will really feel that I have achieved something extremely important in my life. It's good knowing that the next generation of doctors and psychologists and, and nurses will have trained in a place like this um, to get a lot better skills but also to get the kind of uh, friendly, like supportive, really truly caring about the clients and really doing the best that they can to help us recover.